Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through how to achieve this effect using a noise shader connected to the displacement of a plane. And also use a couple of conversion shaders to uh, get this posterized ridge type effect. Okay, so let's start off by creating a polygon plane. And let's assign a flat surface shader to it, get some pure color. Without any lighting, and then I'm going to create a noise, an Arnold noise shader, and let's just assign that to the color, just so we can see what's going on. Start off an Arnold render. Okay, I'm going to increase the octaves, just get some more detail, and increase the scale. So get something like this. So this is too smooth, too soft at the moment. We need to use a couple of conversion shaders to change the color values to integer values, okay? So I'm going to just disconnect the noise for now. And let's create a multiply. We can use this to multiply the values of the noise. Just connect the noise to the input one of the multiply. And uh, with the input two, we can go above value of one. Okay, so now in order to get the step effect, we need to convert the color values to uh, integer values. So let's start by creating color to float. Connect the multiply to the input and then a float to integer. And then connect the color to float to the float to integer. And then connect that to the flat. Okay, so there you go. So the flow to integer is giving us this step effect. If we go to the multiply and just adjust that, you can see the effect is having. I'm going to increase this to something like 10. If we zoom in, we can see the, the noise values. And if I reduce this down, we get this uh, interesting posterized type effect. So all we need to do now is connect that to the displacement of the plane. So I'm going to change the flat to an ambient occlusion so we can get some shading. So we can see the effect without having to use any lighting. And then in the shading group, create a displacement material. And then connect the flute to integer to the displacement. Make sure that's assigned. Now we won't see anything at the moment because the plane doesn't have enough subdivisions. So we need to go into the Arnold subdivision settings and change it to Cat Clark and increase those iterations. We'll start low to begin with. So I'm just value of something like six. Looks like the displacement value is too high. So we need to bring that down. Okay, so we start to see the effect here. However, uh, we still don't have enough subdivision iteration, so I'm going to increase that to 10. So while that's doing that, just go to the subdivision settings documentation. Just bear in mind that each subdivision iteration quadruples the number of polygons. So if your object, object has two levels of subdivisions and Arnold has four additional iterations, that's six subdivision iterations, and that's going to mean a lot of polygons. So just bear in that mind when you're increasing the iterations, you can... Uh, it may take a while and you may, may run to uh, memory issues if you go too too high. Okay, so it's pretty much there. We could go even higher, maybe 12 iterations, but uh, I'm happy with that. And then if we want to change the effect further, we can always go back to the multiply, maybe lower that value. And again, we have to wait for the tessellation of the geometry, but um, can have fun just playing around with this value just to get some interesting steps and also animate the time value for the noise if you want to create an animation okay that's it thanks for watching bye